everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel and in today's video i'll be showing you how to make use of sqlite database for storing your data locally in your flutter app so here we got the simple ui which contains the text form field as well as two buttons uh, whenever you click on the save button uh, anything what you have typed in the text form field will be just saved in the database and for viewing the data what you have stored in your database so far I have just made use of this view button okay uh, when you click on this view button actually it is just uh, showing the circular progress indicator because I am just running it in my browser which does not support SQLite package so um, it is uh, just actually showing the circular progress indicator but uh, if you run it in your physical device or emulator you will be able to see the contents what you have just stored in a database in a list view builder okay uh, and for developing this I have just made use of two packages one is this SQLite and this path provider packages so make sure that you just uh, add these two dependencies in your path spec and with this idea let us move on to the coding part first let me just quickly build up the UI okay
okay so now we have just created the ui alone if you just click on or if you just give anything nothing just happens it just shows it has this added to the db but it hasn't we have entered the code for that uh, and for saving this in the database we just need to purely give these two models one is the database model here i have just created a model for our class this my text which contains the id as well as the text okay uh, and this to map and this from map function is just to convert the normal list into a dynamic list for st storing as well as getting the data back from the database okay and the another thing inside the utils folder uh, i'll be having a class which is the database helper class and this class contains the list of all queries which is the create table insert query and the update query okay first let me explain this thing this is just uh, i have just created an instance for the database okay and the database name what i am gonna give is the text db and the table name is text and this table text will be containing two columns one is the id as well as the next is the text uh, okay and this function is just to make sure that the database is to check whether the database has been created early or it hasn't if it is created then i will be just returning the instance for the database or if it is not created then i will be returning the init db calling that function uh, inside the init db function i will be just initializing the database uh, where i will be creating the table for the first time uh, using the query create table table name and the list of columns what we need to have as said before we will be having the id which is the primary key and it is an integer and the next column will be the text which is the string so i have just created the given the value as text so just don't confuse with this text and this text this text is just a simple value what we will be passing inside the row and this text is the data type next is the insert query for inserting the values into the database i'll be just making use of this to my function what i have just uh, shown you before okay and for getting the data back from the database i'll be making use of from my function so this function actually returns the two column values which is the id and the text which is mapped to this map list this map list will be containing uh, uh, dynamic variables so i'll be again declaring defining a simple list and appending those values one by one from this maps this map to this my text list okay and returning that my text list from the as a result of calling this function okay now we are in the stage of adding the value what the user has entered in this text form field let's move on to that okay mm. okay uh, we just need to write that logic inside this on save event okay on press sorry on press event where is it okay here we just need to i think we just need to create an instance for the database helper class okay first let me create that okay now We just need to get a list or a map this my text class will be containing the id as well as the string for id you can just provide null and for the string let me give the text controller value okay and using the db helper instance i'll be just accessing the insert db function and passing this my text as a parameter sorry it's not any db it's sorry i'm just confused insert text okay now we have just inserted the value what the user enters here okay now if you give any value 
and click on save then it is automatically saved in the database in order to visualize or in order to see whether it is being stored or not you just need to click on this view button but as I said before I am just running in my browser and I can show the live demo of how it works but we just move on to the coding part of just developing the view button that is getting the data back from the database here in this page I have just created a simple UI for rendering the data in a list view manner I have just made use of this future builder which returns the list view builder function okay this list view builder widget will be just keeps building till the till it builds over all the data that is being present in the database okay for that let me just create these two instances and initialize them just need to in the init state we just need to get the data from the database okay which is the function get text and I'll be making use of this future builder because you are not sure whether the navigation instance time and as well as the data which is retrieved from the database is same so we just make use of future builder to make sure it won't overlap each other and for future the value is my text okay and here if if snapshot dot has data that is if there is any data inside the database then i will be returning this build text which in turn returns this list view builder as if there is no data being present in the database then i will be returning circle progress indicator widget okay so uh, if the data is present in the database then i'll be building the list view where i'll be just showing the text alone uh, it, and another field what we got for the uh, for got in our database is ID you can if you need you can also show that ID as well but uh, in our case I am just leaving till the text alone because the text is what we are getting or entering over here so I'll be just displaying that text alone in a list style widget okay and so um, I'm running the browser. Uh, this thing does not make sense in uh, showing that one. If you want to make sure or if you want to see that in action, kindly please clone my repo and I will also leave the link for that in my description. And that's it, guys. It's very simple. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.